So you have just gotten the RK61, but haven't been able to open the software because it pops up with this message saying there is no gaming device detected, even though you have the keyboard connected. Here is the quickest and easiest way to fix this issue. So before I start this video, I did get most of the tips here from Max05PL, so make sure to go check out his video as well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to go into the bottom left in the windows and search for the RK61 Gaming 4Z software, right click it and click uninstall. You gotta search for it in here. You can just search or you can actually look for it. I just searched for it and you click uninstall slash change and it will uninstall that current software. After you uninstall it, you're gonna have to go to your local disk and then program files and then you're going to go to gaming 4Z, click delete here but then you're gonna have to go to your task manager and find the gaming force and close it because it will say it's still open and after that you'll be able to delete that as well so after you're done all that you can click the link in the description but you will see there is three different setups for the software and they all have different product ids and this is where you're gonna have to go to your device manager to find your specific product id for your rk61 so you're gonna have to go to windows key and r and then type in this exactly dev mg mt dot msc and then you click ok so once you're here you go to keyboards and you hit that little scroll down i do have quite a bit because i do have a lot of keyboards but you probably will have more or less it really depends but you're gonna have to start clicking on them and then go over to details and then on their property where it says device description, you scroll down to hardware IDs. And this is where you're gonna want to find a product ID that matches one in the description. So either 055, 8016, or 024F. I'm pretty sure mine was in the fourth one here, but you might have to check all of them before you can find one. It should be there though, if you do have the keyboard plugged in. So once I go to hardware IDs, I can find this one is product ID 8016, which actually matches the second one on the list here. So I'm gonna want to download that one. What I'm gonna do is right click and then hit download and it will scan for viruses. Cause a lot of people think I am trying to hack them. This isn't even my link. So it should not be a virus. And if I see a comment saying I'm trying to hack you, I will cry. Cause that means that Max hacked me as well. So you wanna click on that and click the language if you speak Chinese or probably most people watching this video speak English. So I'm gonna click on English and then it will set it up for me. And once it is done, you click next, next, and then install and it will install and you click finish. So once you have that downloaded, you find the right product ID, you should have this thing called RK818, which is the RK61's software. And you can just click on that. And now you have the full access to the software where you can change the RGB and the macros.